Welcome. I'm David Kleinfeld, Professor of Physics and of Neurobiology at the University of California, San Diego. And I'm Martin Deschain, Professor of Psychiatry and Neuroscience at Laval University in Quebec City. We would like to tell you about a recent article from our laboratories, Coordination of Orofacial Motor Actions into Expiratory Behavior by Rat. Animals typically gather sensory information through actively moving their biological sensors. When you move your eyes around, for example, your brain forms a percept of the visual scene by combining these snapshots a visual input from each corresponding eye position, as you see here. Our laboratories study the general process of how nervous systems encode a stable word view through coordinated movement of sensors. In our case, we focus on rodent or facial motor actions, which includes sniffing, whisking, nose twitching, head bobbing, and even licking. Let's look first at whisking, which is a particularly prominent activity during exploration. Rodents have large hairs on their snout, or vibrissae, that they sweep back and forth in a tactile expiratory beha behavior known as whisking. We noticed that rats tended to make additional prominent active sensory movements as they whisk. In this video, our group members, Stacy Kernikova and Jeff Moore, describe their findings on how rats move their orofacial sensory apparatuses to explore their peripersonal space. We noticed that rats tend to breathe rapidly or sniff as they are whisking. They also tend to wiggle their noses and bob their heads during this exploratory behavior. We used high-speed videography and micromechanical and electronic sensors to quantify these active sensory movements. We found that rats synchronize movements of their nose, head, and vibrissae to breathing movements. Here's an example. As the rat sniffs, it inhales and exhales. Its vibrissae protract and retract in phase with these breathing movements. At the same time, the rat twitches its nose to the left or right and bobs its head. All of these movements are coordinated with each other by way of phase locking with the breathing cycle. These movements may allow the active sensing of different sensory modalities, such as smell and touch, to be coordinated with each other. Thus, each sniff appears to represent a snapshot of the sensory environment from a specific location in space, much like a visual snapshot after a psychotic eye movement. Understanding these simple active sensory movements represents a first step towards uncovering the neural circuits that enable animals to form an integrated percept of the world around them. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy the article.